Tommy, a win against Eastleigh, it's not something that the shots have been able to do in recent history, so it's, it's got to be good, isn't it? Well, we're 2-2 two, two in my tenure, so we lost twice and we won twice. So I don't know where the rest of the statistics come from, and not to do with me. Um, but I was really pleased, you know, I think it's a, it's a com, uh, contrast in styles to a degree. And I think at times, I think we could have been a little bit braver on the ball, but personal is such at the moment that I know we have to be a little bit more basic at times. Um, but I don't, I don't forget... Uh, the hard yards that the lads who started the game and I, and I do understand people getting frustrated and they want people on the pitch but you know we have a plan we have a plan believe it or not every game we play and sometimes like today Harry Gandor has been battered from mm. pillar to post with very little help if I'll say um, and Jack's got the fruits of that labour really um, both Josh Barrett He's, he'll, he'll admit himself didn't have his you know best day on the ball and when, when the ball's going over his head a lot he's, he doesn't have much effect in the game when we haven't got the ball so the fact that he come off and Ryan Jones went on and changed the, the whole perspective the two subs that we did make were massive and I keep saying this and I mean this we've got a better squad this season that we had last season we've got better depth so we've got like eight lads in the medical room at yeah. the minute there's about four of them would probably be in the first team if they were fitting well um, and started the season for me obviously with Ollie Harfield now you know being taken out of our uh, being able to use it so look I'm not looking for sympathy or pats on the back for winning the game because I don't I don't make winning my goal I want my I want my team to be winning making it a habit and we've had three wins in a week and I don't care what competition it's in that creates confidence and Again, our fans have been fantastic. We've gone one 0 down. I know they're the little ikes in the corner there. We're getting a little bit excited, but I thought we responded superbly around the pitch and on the pitch. Yeah, well, let's talk about personnel just quickly to get it out of the way. I mean, as you said about Ollie Harfield, him and Luke Jenkins are long term at the back there. We had Christian Magoma's um, red card, obviously, and then Dan Ellison was a bit of a casualty this week, wasn't he? In a really unfortunate accident. Yeah. So we very light at the back, but you know, yeah. f credit to the lads out there today. They they, they showed grit and we determination. You don't believe this, but I'll tell you now. We, we've had three dislocations and a broken bone in the last six weeks. And we haven't said it, we, you know, we, that information is within in-house, but you know now because they're not, you haven't seen them on the bench and you haven't seen them. So they're lads who aren't here, aren't here for a reason. Obviously, Christian's suspended, but the other lads have got broken bones or dislocated bones. So from that point of view, it has been a tough, uh, it's been rocky, you know, I understand that. But the lads who maybe weren't viewed as absolute beginners, let's say, the starters for us, are coming to the party. I think Maxi Mullins has been a breath of fresh air. Ashley Akpan has. Ryan Jones is, you know, ahead of where I thought he'd be at this time. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased. And like I said, a win at the the EBB. Coming from behind again, we we showed spirit today, mate. We we showed lots and lots of honesty and yep. and grit and determination, but some quality. Two great goals. Um, and if I'm honest, I, f I felt we should have been leading it off time. I thought we made the better chances. Their goalie made a couple of really good saves, and they made a couple of good blocks. And I think. Marcus only really made one save um, first off and one right at the end. Mm. So I think on a balance of play, if I'm being honest, I think we deserve the three points. Well, yeah, as you mentioned the depth as well. I know we've just mentioned that it's been challenged, but two of the, well, both the scorers today came from players that came off the bench. I know substitution is a term that's being moved away and mm. people are saying finishes now, aren't they? It's certainly that today. Well, I've said that for a long time before people on the telly did. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's really important because Look, I don't like or dislike any one of them players more than the next man. What I do is I try to come up, and we try to come and devise a plan against every opposition. Now, in an ideal world, that wouldn't be the team I picked. But I've got to say, I think massive credit goes to Rowling, uh, Lackey, the skip who's stepped in in an unfamiliar position and been manfully strong, brave, organising people around him. And then the two midfield lads who've been absolutely outstanding for us this season, on the ball and off, today had to play a game where the ball was not in their possession along, for long periods. And that's something we usually pride ourselves on doing. So I get it with that their passing's a little bit off, but their effort and their work rate and their willingness to keep going ultimately drags us through to win the game.